today we'll be talking about this device, a vibrating rod level sensor. This is made by Magnetrol and it operates on the principle of detecting the dampening effect when solids are brought into contact with the vibrating rod. Now normally this rod vibrates at a frequency of approximately 350 hertz and this vibration is created by converting electrical energy into mechanical energy. So what we're going to do is take you through the steps we use to test this unit. From here, we can observe a couple of things. First, we have our power connections, which in this case is 110 volts AC. We also have our internal wiring, which goes to our rod level sensor that's inside the rod. And then we have our external switch, so this is the relay that is either normally open or normally closed and will change depending on the state of whether or not the rod is within a solid material or not. The last thing we will point out is this potentiometer here, which will change the response of the rod level sensor in accordance with the relay, depending on how dense the material is that it's looking to sense. This is to be adjusted for the type of material that you want it to be able to pick up on. We have set up our first part of the test. A few things to note. We have our 110 volts AC hooked up here. We have our oscilloscope hooked up to the rod level sensors leads that run internally. And finally, we have our relay output here, which is going to be monitored by our multimeter. Right now, we are seeing on the multimeter that we have an open line. So that means that the relay is currently normally open, which we would expect when the rod would be within material. So right now, we have the rod just by the sheer nature of its weight pressing down on this bench. It is dampening this rod, so it's detecting like it would be a static material right now. As we raise this end of the rod, the rod is able to vibrate again, and we can see that now the meter is beeping. That relay is closed, and now you can see the actual rod level sensor's waveform. Now we've got our multimeter attached to this normally closed contact on the internal relays. So what we expect is when we put the rod level sensor into the material, that this normally closed relay will become open. And you can see that it becomes open. Now at its current density setting, this will not be sensitive enough to detect these packing peanuts. As you can see on a normally closed contact, it is still closed. So what we will need to do is we are going to adjust the density setting lower so that it could detect something like the packing peanuts. And there you have it. This is a working rod level sensor. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.